Hey Taurus, welcome to Swift Intuitions. <clears throat> if this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if anything resonates. And if this isn't your first time on my channel, hey family, welcome back. Before we get started, Heavenly Father, I thank you right now for every one of my powerful Taurus. I thank you for their life. I thank you for their destiny. Victory is our portion. We walk in and we receive it. It is so. So, Taurus, to get started, we're going to start with questions. And then we're going to dive into a little bit of your daily energy. Messages 11 light. Beautiful Taurus. Okay, the question we should be asking ourselves is, what larger entity am I a part of? So right now, I feel like we're trying to, you're trying to figure out um, what, there's more to your life and you want to know the purpose of why you are here. And the only way I can tell you to do that is to explore what makes you happy, what brings you to the most joy, what makes you feel like you can do it all the time and it doesn't seem like you're working. When you realize that and you tap into your genuine happiness, then you found what you're supposed to do. Message of love and light from my beautiful Taurus. Ooh. All right, Taurus. So we have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords right now says that you feel like you're trapped in something. You're mentally trapped in a situation that I feel like you're trying to get free from. Sometimes, some some things are uh, we want to get free from and not knowing how to or not knowing how to mentally move forward. It's it, it's a sense of fear, a sense of uh, non clarity. I feel like if this person has not given you a clear indication on which direction they want the situation to go, then you should make your own decision and take yourself out of this position of being stuck. And I feel like because it's coming out with this, you're part of a larger entity. I feel like the truth, there's something about the truth that you are, uh, the, the the truth about some type of pain that uh, has occurred either on your end or your partner's. But with that, I feel like you need to move forward, accept the truth for what it is, and handle it accordingly. But do not stay in the position without clarity. And then we have the two of wands. This speaks that you're trying to find which direction to move in right now. You're looking at the past. I feel like you've looking at your your past with with someone or something, a situation. You see your flaws. You see where you brought heartache, and you see where this other person has brought pain. And right now, I feel that you're trying to see which uh, which direction am I supposed to go. I feel like. You both could have built a kingdom and it's like, am I willing to jeopardize the, the building of this kingdom for some transgression, my heart break, my heart hurt or their heart break. And it's kind of like, uh, am I going to do it for a kingdom building or am I going to, I mean, in a way I feel like you feel selfish if you do it your way. Uh, somewhere of that nature. Hold on. So we have the Ace of Wands right now. I feel like you, there's a passion. There's a new passion that's coming in, an idea. I feel like there's an idea you have that's going to transform the kingdom because right now you feel stuck. You feel stuck in dealing with a situation that that, that is dealing with something that you could have built with someone. And it's like you acquired all of this, you built all of this, and you know that it's not for a, no particular reason, Taurus. And it's like now it's just uh, trying to identify what is the next thing to do, move forward. But you still have passion for this because you built it. It's like I'm not, I don't want to move away from this right now, but I feel like... I have to move and because I feel like it's a sense of waiting for something to come in. What are you waiting on? Taurus, what are you waiting on? It's like waiting for your ships to come in, waiting. For some of you guys, you're waiting for somebody to change and to accept you. Because some of you Taurus, you may you probably caused this heartache and your person found out about it and it's dealing with a home dynamic, so it's affecting the home. And I feel like you want to continually build, but it's some things that you just don't know how to make clear to your person. 
Especially if you fucked up. <laughs> and then we have, I knew I seen something else. Yeah, so we have these three cards that turned over, which is the Knight of Cups. You want to bring about some type of apology because you're stuck in this energy. I feel like you have this energy of regret and you feel like you and this person belong together at the end of the deck is the Sun card. Y'all could have children together, sons together. Uh, we have the, the Eight of Wands, which is... Some type of uh, a lot of message in traveling. This could be you both could be at a distance, or you or you could be in the middle of traveling right now, or wanting. I feel like this is somebody wanting you want to go towards somebody, or somebody want to go towards you. Yeah, I feel that uh, towards that you want to. I feel like you you're stuck in your mind on something that that has not been clear about a particular situation in the past. Now you want to come in and extend extend this, this heart like felt conversation uh, hopefully that will move forward in some type of passion you want to travel to this person because whoever this is you're at a distance from and maybe and you want to communicate with this person but it's like you want to communicate because you want to let go of this burden that you've been holding on to about some shit maybe you've done or maybe they've done in the past but you want some type of truth and but it's still leading to you having to see which way you want to move about and even presenting this to them. And then we have the six of pentacles. So the six of pentacles is that because it's counterquarter to the eight of swords, it makes me feel like like you you're stuck in your head because you were given to another situation that you may have had a uh, uh, entanglement with this could be somebody that you could have had kids with outside of your outside of your uh, marriage outside of your commitment and now that's what's keeping you stuck in your head because you're still looking back because either with if you're with a long-term commitment either this is a wife or a home that you've built up and maybe some of your transgressions is coming back and it's like a, somebody wants to come in and give I feel sleepy, y'all. I'm sorry, Taurus. I don't know. But yeah, so let me get uh okay, I know, I know, I ain't mean to make y'all yawn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my bad. Message of love and life. I'm my beautiful Taurus. They say, Mercy, you and this yawn and shit got me tired. You know I'm at work. What? <laughs> my bad, bro. Okay love addiction coming out okay so the cards that were turned over was love unconditional love i feel like somebody is really loves you i feel like you really love somebody and i know you might go through your trials and tribulations especially if this has been a long-term marriage i feel like you both love each other and it's just like you know <laughs> Damn, with this, like, it's like being with somebody for so long and still putting up their shit, but you love them, and it's like, I don't want to be nowhere else. So, it is unconditional love. It is, but I feel like this is codependency, addiction. Somebody could be um, addicted to sex. Somebody could be d addicted to just being, being felt, still wanting to feel wanted outside of their union or connection. And then we have keys on the ring, many options, decisions, uh, unconventional string along one night stand. Somebody could be addicted to these to these one night stands, addicted to connections that they know not going to go nowhere because they know they have a wife at home, because they know they have stability at home. They just want that adrenaline rush to feel like they are still wanted by either a younger or opposite sex outside of their wife or their husband. It's, you know what, and it's so crazy, Capricorn, this could be you or your person, but it's like this, this person or you just want to still feel wanted outside of the person they know that wants them. Mm, that's crazy. Anyway... Yeah, because you're still lovers. All right, if any of that resonated, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. And if you're looking for a personal reading or you want to donate to the channel, all of that information will be in the description below. I love you, Taurus. Love yourself. Remember, we are the gods, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Mm.